hi all hope all as well on today's video i've decided to actually go back and revisit an idea i had um, in a previous video and the previous video i'm talking about is the solar still so for those who are not aware i'll put a link up in the top corner there but the solar still is basically a way of extracting drinking water from the ocean water itself um, the idea of doing this is if you ever get stuck and you need to consume water obviously you can't drink ocean water as you see in this picture here it's way too salty and it will lead to your demise there's no doubt about it um, so the idea with a solar still is it's basically a, a smaller jar inside a larger sealed jar um, and during the day the moisture evaporates out of the center jar and during the night it condensates on the inside of the bigger jar accumulating drinking water so again i'm just going to make an alteration to that um, by making a test subject which is this first one that you see here so it's just going to be a plain jar with seawater included in it um, so obviously you can see the seawater there i've got to make sure that that jar is actually sealed up of course um, there was a little bit of a leak in it at first um, but i've gone ahead and i've resolved that since then and once resolving the leak I don't want to um, have any ocean water leak into the bigger jar so it was important that I resolve the leak um, so once the leak was resolved it was just a matter of actually placing that jar it's it's actually a pickle jar believe it or not which is why it looks so strange but there's a good reason why I wanted to use pickle jars um, so as you can see here I've just gone ahead and placed it inside the bigger jar exactly like I did in the previous movie um, the previous video I did in regards to the solar dis distillation. Now the previous video, it was actually successful. I was able to actually get drinking water from ocean water through this process. So I know for a fact that it is successful. Um, what the aim of this video is, is to try and improve on those results. And um, there were quite a few comments in the comment section of that video as well, suggesting ways that I could improve it. However, I've decided to come up with a concept of my own um, and it's using charcoal um, as a way to soak up the evaporation and um, separate it basically into the upper chamber of the pickle jar. Now, there were quite a few suggestions um, suggesting that I add um, something black to the inner jar to try and improve the efficiencies. There was also suggestions that I should perhaps add a piece of felt um, to the water as well to help speed up the process um, and there are fantastic ideas and I aim to actually um, try and have a crack at performing those experiments as well using some of those ideas however for this one I just wanted to use my own concept so again I've just got myself another pickle jar except this time instead of removing that stainless steel strainer there I'm actually going to include that charcoal that I got out of my fire that I um, got out of my fireplace. I'm actually going to crush it, um, not too smallly, of course. I just want to um, be able to put it in there. And the idea is, so when the water evaporates in this pickle jar, um, it will basically soak up into the charcoal. And then during the day, it should heat up. Um, and the idea is so that um, it should speed up the evaporation process. Um, it will be interesting to see if it yields any better results, though, because obviously... Um, during the day with both pickle jars, the one without the charcoal and the one with the charcoal, they'll have exactly the same amount of sunlight each during the day. So they'll both have a fair chance, an equal chance to actually charge up. Um, I don't think the biggest issue is actually um, the evaporation process. I believe the biggest issue um, comes down to the recollection process. Um, so to improve the results, I may need to actually put a floor in these jars and perhaps put a tap into them as well and remove the fluid that's created each day to save that fluid from re-evaporating. But like I was saying, it has been quite some time since I've updated this procedure um, and it was a fantastic opportunity to do it. I finally got the time to actually get around to doing it. Um, so it will be very interesting now. Unfortunately, there'll be no results in this video itself. Uh, those results will come I'm guessing I'll leave it for three days is the idea. So basically I'll leave the jars to recharge for three full days and to recondensate for three full days. Um, and by the end of those three full days of recharging and recondensation, basically we should be able to get an extremely good overview of whether the charcoal 
um, solar still is actually producing more drinking water than just the test subject, the clear um, pickle jar. Um, I look forward to seeing the results. It looks fantastic. There's no doubt about it. Um, I'm hoping the charcoal one helps to improve the yield, um, but like all things, only time will tell. Um, so we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching. If you um, enjoyed this, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, until next time, uh, we'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.